Welcome to Ruthie World Zombie World. <laughs> this show is strictly for deadheads and zombie lovers. And according to Facebook, there's over 5 million lovers and likers of The Walking Dead. Yay! Let's hear for the return of The Walking Dead. <laughs> So, The Walking Dead is going to um, have their premiere mid-season episode on Sunday, February 12th, while the Grammys is going on. So, I don't know, but to me, The Walking Dead is a no-brainer. It's definitely going to be about The Walking Dead. Forget about the Grammys. <laughs> Because they, really, the Grammys is never really worth watching after you spent, like, what, three hours watching it. So, it's going to be all about the deadheads and the walking dead and the talking dead. <laughs> so, here's a little recap on what took place at the end of the, the mid-season finale that happened in, what, was it November, December? And um, as you may know, they finally did find Sophie. When they finally decided they was gonna blow up the barn, the last person to come dragging themselves out was Sophie. I was kind of hoping maybe she um, she survived the onslaught, but apparently not. I'm wondering if there's ever gonna be a person that is immune to a zombie bite because I was watching a movie. Um, the name of it was Mutant, and it's a French a French zombie movie. And um, the lady had gotten bit, and she was obviously immune to the bite because she never turned. But this particular movie was about um, it was in France and uh, in the mountains and you know, everything was all pretty covered with snow, but the uh, zombies was on. <laughs> and anyway, uh, her husband or whoever the guy is to her had gotten bit and she was trying to keep him from turning. So she was giving him these shots and stuff, but none of it worked because he was like peeing blood and his teeth was coming out and his hair was coming out in clumps. and. It just got really, really ugly. But um, I was just wondering if um, if there's ever going to be somebody who's immune to to a zombie bite because it seems to me like that's the only way they're ever going to be able to figure out a, a, a cure for it or, or come up with an antidote to a, a zombie bite is if somebody is immune in it. I just feel like with all the people in the world, somebody has got to be immune to a zombie bite. But I guess we'll have to see about that. So, some pretty interesting things happened before the end of the, um, the mid-season ending of, of, of The Walking Dead. Um, Shane and Andrew got together and was knocking boots in a car. And um, a couple of other interesting things happened. Again, uh, the, the, the house that they were at, the Greens Farm, they had a barn and inside the barn was walkers. <laughs> they were just kind of walking around and the guy is trying to keep the zombies alive to, because he's looking at them still as his family and stuff. And I don't know, I guess he's going to come up with a cure for for um, you know, people being a, a walking dead person, and um, of course the 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 gang that's trying to stay alive, you know, the gang with the pregnant lady and the little kid and and Shane and Andrea and them, you know, I mean, if I had been the one to discover that there was a barn full of walkers, I don't think I would have even told anybody i just like would have poured gasoline and just started the fire so that they could you know just not be there anymore but eventually you know they kind of shot up the barn and or whatever it was they did and the, the, the walking dead came out and so that's that i'm not sure what's gonna happen this season because as everybody knows is it laurie is it's with child <laughs> 
and, and you know, big thing last season was, you know, who's the daddy? Who's the daddy? Is it her husband or is it Shane? The guy she took up with when she thought her husband was dead and then her husband wasn't dead and and it was just a mess. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in this episode of, of oh, well, this the rest of the season of, of, of Walking Dead and the fact that it, um, Lori's pregnant and um, ultimately how things will end up with her, the fact that she is pregnant because, you know, pregnant people, you know, they just kind of don't fare too well in these type of situations. But then I can't really say that for a fact and the reason is because I've been watching a couple of um, zombie movies and there's several there's the mutant that I talked about and then there's another one that I watched recently called the horde which is really if you like zombie movies and I'm talking really just intense gore and blood and slicing and dicing and heads rolling and just all type of craziness the Horde, it was a French movie. It was pretty, it was pretty gnarly and nasty. It was. And the Horde and the Mutant both have pregnant females in it. And um, the Horde is, um, I gave that movie like mm, either four or five stars because I thought it was a pretty good story. And the story is this, is a couple of rogue police officers are going back to an apartment building to, to catch a criminal or to kill somebody because they the person had shot a cop so they buried the cop and they you know of course they have to get revenge so they go back to this building and it's a tall building and there's hardly anybody living in the building it's kind of like a condemned building so they go back to, to to confront these criminals to kill them for killing their partner and then all hell breaks loose <laughs> all hell breaks loose and before they know it, the building is swarming with zombies, and and this is after the cops have killed a couple of them. Of the um, no, the criminals have killed a couple of cops, and and they're shooting up the place. And of course, they're trying not to get bit. So the cops and the bad guys have to join forces if they want to stay alive. They have to join forces to fight off the zombies because the zombies are like zombies on speed. Remember how fast the zombies moved in 28 days? Well, these zombies move, I mean, lightning speed. I mean, it's like, how can you get away from them? So, because the zombies are so alive, or whatever you want to call it, they, um, it's just really, really hard to, to, to try to, to get away from them. So, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one fighting with zombies. It's like a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat. I mean, it's just insane. But it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. And that's The Horde. And um, the next movie is Mutant. Mutant was pretty good. It had some some gory scenes, scary scenes and all. And um, both of those are two French movies. And it seems to me like foreign uh, zombie movies just seem to be, to me, more entertaining. <laughs> yeah, so those are two zombie movies that I really enjoyed.